we will bring them back in 2019 when they solve that for a longer time than eight seconds. And, you know, we've seen some impressive challenges that you were able to solve with graphical system design this morning. And the last grand engineering challenge that I wanted to explore with you was to engineer the tools of scientific discovery. Now, this one, I think, is really fundamental to a lot of the things we're doing and the challenge that I'm most excited about because at National Instruments, we are tools provider. This is a challenge we get to take on. Now, already this morning, we've seen some amazing things our customers have done. We first saw the OCT technology by Santec, some precise imaging that's going to make a big difference in detecting these deadly diseases. We were able to see a couple of examples of looking at the big infrastructure challenges we have around the globe, as well as hearing from Stefano and Mike about how fusion might really be a viable source of energy for us. But the other important part of engineering, not only you know, all of us became engineers to certainly solve these grand challenges, but also to have fun. There's a very important part of engineering of exploration and discovery. And so we wanted to show you a few of those examples where graphical system design is really igniting some of that creative spark. So I had to start over here with a little robot friend. Those of you that know me, you know I've been excited about and interested in our robotic strategy for many years, and what engineer doesn't love robots? So over here, we have a friend named Darwin Oki. And what's really awesome about this technology is not only he's really cute, um, but he actually plays a full game of autonomous soccer, or football, uh, for some of you. And this one that we have here is actually pretty exciting because this was the first U.S. team to win the RoboCup Challenge. This was Virginia Tech and the NSF Foundation. That, he's giving me a high five. <laughs> it was awesome. Um, the other exciting thing, though, about this particular platform, it's actually becoming commercially available. So it's not just about this one team or this one um, competition. It's about enabling more students to get excited about engineering technology. And the more they get excited about solving some of these big challenges and playing with complex cyber-physical and mechatronic systems, the great things that they can create. An example of some of the, the impact that this robotic technology can be is from another partner we have here from Boston Engineering. They've created this biomimetic fish. And that's really just a fancy word for a robot that can mimic nature. This is very important from a control and learning standpoint, where they're powered by NIRIO inside the biomimetic fish to do all of the advanced control and understanding and artificial intelligence. Now, the other exciting part of, of discovery is, of course, interacting with the latest technology. Now, I have my lovely assistant here, Matt Spexarth. His friends call him Spex. Um, so, Matt, uh, what do you have here for us this morning? Thanks, Shelley. What I have on stage here today is the Microsoft Connect. And we wanted to see if there were any innovative ways we could take the technology that's really kind of revolutionizing gaming and the hobbyist market into LabVIEW. So if you could step into the field of view of the Kinect okay. sensor. Pardon my turn. You should be able to see on the stage behind me, the Kinect sensor is using multiple algorithms and sensors to detect Shelly to do object tracking and recognition. And the first thing we immediately noticed when developing this driver is no one can resist the urge to dance and make a fool of themselves. <laughs> All right, but the point of this wasn't to dance. Uh, what we really wanted to do uh, was see what kind of input mechanisms we could bring into LabVIEW. So we've given it some gesture recognition uh, and scripted some LabVIEW behavior out of that. So if you step forward a little bit. Okay. Um, first, I want you to put your hand out. All right, you've got the Kinect's attention. You can see it has your hand open and it's tracking it. Okay. Close your hand and that says you're going to do something. Cross your body. She so you opened the VI. We're very, very nice, Shelly. Thank you. All right. I'm a quick learner. I think it's a little better. <laughs> All right, let's do the same thing. Okay. Now let's run that VI. All right, so we now see real-time engine awesome. simulation data here. Uh, and it looks like we've we maybe done something wrong. Let's, let's just uh, close this VI. We need to start over. So let's just grab that and throw it away. There you go. Wow. That's it. It's very impressive. We call this, uh, I like to call this uh, programming uh, by uh, um, Dance interpretation, interpretive dance. We can dance so, all, all night working long. Working on getting Jeff K to add that to his models of computation. <laughs> the new model of computation coming soon. Yeah. So that may be the way you program LabVIEW. Now again, to look at some of these new challenges that you're looking at, sometimes you have to look through a different lens. And the next partner we wanted to show off here was Optimation. This is one of our oil and gas alliance members, and they specialize in hydraulic, hydraulic technology. And they thought, you know, we want to explore and show off some of the advanced control capabilities of Compaq Rio. 
So what better way to do that than to create a wall of water that you could write with, right? It makes a lot of sense. Um, so here, um, Spex is showing us a few different designs. And you can see they're actually doing all of the advanced control with Compact Rio and LabVIEW. You can input any shape, any word, anything you want to do in a very compelling way to describe some of their levels of expertise. Now, I know those of you really close to this may now have to use the restroom because there's a lot of water happening. But um, please, please hold on to your seats because we have one more really impressive group of uh, set of people that I want you to go ahead and meet.